<clears throat> okay, Degenerate. Um, hello. Welcome back to Ark Knights. As you can see, here she is, Dejan Brexter. And I will be putting the reaction that Finley had at the start of the video, so. How the hell does he say he's going to be like, I'm going to pull this Degenerate, and then he just fucking dies? Wow. Crazy. What crazy. the fuck, dog? Nuts. I hope you enjoy that. <laughs> I did a lot of farming off camera, obviously, I'm level 11 now, so, uh, I haven't really collected any of the mission rewards, though, because I didn't want to, like, grab a bunch of the stuff, or progress too far, really. I farmed the event stage one over and over and over and over. I got a bunch of shit for it. Um, from it. A lot of leveling material, a lot of LMD, just a lot of stuff in general. Also, there you go, level 8. Uh... Grab this. Nice, more LMD. And more carbon six. Back up. That's collected. Friends list. Whoa. Oh, it's Oberon. And Lay. And Vortex. Did you? Okay. Let's just accept Oberon. Oh, when I opened these last time, I didn't get anything good. <laughs> I got uh, shards for character I already had. I don't even remember at this point who. I'm Melantha. Hi, Melantha. From now on. Supporter? Watch out! Okay. Whatever. Who is it? Captain of Reserve Op Team A6, Orchid, reporting in. Are I'll you the doctor? That. Yes, I am the doctor. Okay, that's that. I, I can't believe I summoned her. And I have some more summoning stuff summon uh what's it called headhunt headhunt it literally says right there <laughs> i want blaze though i want blaze really bad i was reading through a bunch of different characters while i was farming the other day and let me tell you i want blaze <laughs> her aoe sounds real nice something good four star what did I get? Ambriel Sniper from Laterano. All right, that's introductions out of the way before they give me a headache. <laughs> okay, and let's do the next one. Give me plays. Oh, okay. I'll uh, just get Frostleaf, former mercenary. From now on, I'm your operator. Assign me any job you want. Nice. Okay. Well, those are those two. I could do one more. Let's see what I get. Oh, okay. Just skip. Show me your brightest smile. Oh, I didn't have you. Customer. Happiness is at arm's reach when you're by my. Okay. That's that. Let's go to the store. Packs. Right. I've been saving opening these for when I had the stream open or the video open. So let's do this one first, the expensive one. 180, 4,000 LMD, uh, 10 battle records, and 50 furniture parts. Let's also open this one. Nice. Now let's do this. 540, 10,000. Wow, that's a lot. Frontline battle records and more furniture parts. Let's also get the free one. Nice, some good resources. Now it's time for the base. I have something in my left or my right eye. This one's my right eye, not my left eye. It just hurts. Resources received. Oh, right. I put them in the dormitory. Okay. Got byproducts, which that just paid for the uh, thing I just did. Buy any item from the credit store. Visit friend's base one time and make a reception room. Cleared. Reception room. Okay. I didn't know where to build that at. Infrastructure complete. And I can upgrade this now with it. What? A clue. Welcome to the reception room. This is where you can interact with your friends. Let me explain. Tap to open the clues page. Here you can exchange clues with your friends. Clues can be found from anywhere. Uh, collect clues to earn credits. You can assign characters here and they will automatically search for clues. 
Tap here to see the clues that have been discovered. Okay. Um, oh, operator's clue searching progress is shown on the left. It will run until the clues archive is full. The reception room's clue searching prog pro progress is shown on the right. It will refresh daily at a fixed time. Okay. They accept clues from friends. But they have a time limit before expiring, so please use them as soon as possible. View clues from friends. You may also send your ac excess clues to your friends to help them earn credits. Tap to send a clue to a friend. When you have all seven clues, you can unlock clue exchange. You will earn a large amount of credits after unlocking all of the clues, and friends that visit your base will earn additional credits. Tap to unlock all clues. Okay. Oh. Why do I have so many from... Okay, so I need a clue too then. Okay. You, when this operator is assigned to the reception room, clue search speed is increased. Okay, let's put if you in If you'd like, this. I can help. No I trouble. Two? I don't have another person that's good at finding clues though, so... Uh, let's put in anyone, I guess. I don't know, Cardigan? Steward, what should I do next? Clues. No, uh, it was in here, right? Okay. They're searching. Assign operators to collect clues. Okay, so that'll just happen automatically now. And with that made, base thing made, I can Doctor, you visit know how busy your schedule is today, yes? Yes, I have a very busy schedule. Thank you, Dejan Breher. Okay, friends, let's visit Finley first. Where is she? Where, where are you? Are you not my friend? What? Oh, I know, they're Marrow, right. Right? Marrow? I don't know, let's find out. Clue delivery? You must select a clue first. Okay. Hello! Ow. Is something wrong? Can I back out? I'm just looking at this exhaust fan. Closure said this model's five years old, but it's the first time I've seen it. So Whoa. ingenious. <laughs> a little robot. Oh my god, there's so many characters. There's so many characters. Holy crap, that's cool. Okay. Good thing I didn't have that when uh, I got Dejenbrecker. Just in case they opened my Doctor, you know thing. how busy your schedule is today, yes? I have a lot of credits right now, so let's just buy Courier. Hey, a free four star. Esteemed leader of Rhodes Island, your ally. Courier of the Snow Realm. Is here at your service. My head hurts. If you get into any sort of trouble during your contract with Master Silver Ash, just snap your fingers and I'll. Okay, Courier, I get it. Um. I could buy that. Uh, okay. That's that. Oh, wait, let's do this first. Then let's do this. Nice. Got that. And another headhunting. Oh, that's gone now okay let's get blaze first try right guys right let's get blaze right now boom blaze blazer oh. ah. who did i get attention doberman i am oh. doberman former military okay with that that's everything i i was saving to do when i was recording again I, uh, I'll also show you everything I bought from in here. I got all the training stuff, all the LMD from this one. I also bought a lot of the skill summaries and all of the basic stuff in this first section. So that gave me a lot of stuff that's helpful. Um, let's try to do level three. I have all my characters leveled up for it now, but I don't know if I'll be able to do it. So. Let's get in and find out. Except for him. 
I should change him out, though. Um. I guess there's more of those invisible bastards. Short of your expectations. And I need a range. Just give your orders and I'll carry them out. Oh, and gravel. You chose me. No, oh, shut up, gravel. What, are you gonna kiss me again? No. That's what I thought. Everyone ready for me to read? Ladies and gentlemen, we have arrived at our terminus. Lake Silver Station. Located in the center of a basin, clear and scenic Lake Silver is one of the gems of Cherik. Legends say that is that is the first tear shed by Cherangander. In winter, one can walk on the frozen surface and see into the depths of the lake. The newly built statue of Cherangander stands on the island at the middle of the lake, watching over Cherig and her people. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we have arrived. So it's all a misunderstanding? No secrets, no assassinations, no VIP on the train, no nothing? If there's any VIP that got me on this train, it was you. Viscount Harold Craigavon, the renowned burden beast veterinarian who has become a household name among the pastoralists. Pastoralists? What a name. <laughs> I'm honored. <laughs> I beg your pardon, Madam Deadenbrecker. It was hard not to make certain inter inferences from the blood on your gloves. Blood? Should I explain? I guess I could tell you if you really want to know. I do. Please. <laughs> Lily's birthing wasn't easy. What the fuck? This is a cool scene. It was premature. She bled a lot and I had my hands full. What? Premature? She bled? That's no laughing matter. How is my girl? I performed first aid. She just... But she needs a professional follow-up. I don't know why I'm reading so slow today. Leonis says he trusts you the most, Craigavon. It's up to you now. I'll be there in two shakes of a beast's tail. Dot, dot, dot. You look disappointed. Were you expecting something else? Fine enough by me. I can live up to those expe expectations. <laughs> There's no need for that. So, what's the misunderstanding? Ah, oh, well, Lake Silver is a nice place, isn't it? Particularly on a sunny, clear day like this. When even the air smells particularly fresh. Do Victorians always talk about the weather when they're trying to change the subject? I must have heard this about a thousand times by now. Forgive me. We learned from a young age to use Victorians' awful weather as a conversation starter. Kindly refrain from besmirching the good name of Victoria, my lord. <laughs> And be let out. Yeah. Hey, why are you guys still standing around chatting? Is our little misunderstanding all cleared up now? Of course, of course. Nothing would have uh, happened if not for the, if not for some alarmists among us. Dot dot dot. <laughs> Whatever. As long as it's all cleared up now. Running up and down a train was fun, but I've had enough of eating dust around a t under a table. I went ahead and had a look. A tour guide gave me two maps. Lake Silver is just down the street from here. Should we go now? Well, dreadfully sorry, Rosalind, but I'm afraid I won't be able to keep my promise. There's a lady who needs me at her side right now. Lily's a burden beast, right? Knock some Victorian noble code word. Perish the thought. <laughs> Fine, fine, go see to your lily. I can take care of myself from here. Rosalind, what's that look on your face? You're such a kind, thoughtful girl. Come, let's exchange contact information. Better not be Snapchat. <laughs> you must find me. Should you ever need anything, I am ever at your service. And I'll keep an eye out on your, for your father, handsome Cherik fellow, you said. Thanks for that, Danushka. All right, you guys had to get back to your chat. I'm gonna get going. 
Such a lovely young lady. So strong and cheerful, even after losing her mother. A handsome Cherik fellow? Oh, you heard? Rosalind came to Cherik to find her long-lost father. It's a touching story. I hope her efforts bear fruit. Her father? Is that what she said? Well, now that our misunderstanding has been resolved... Madam Dejenbrecher? I'm a huge fan of your work. Could I perhaps beg for your auto- No time. I'm leaving. Take care of Lily. Wait, Madam Dejenbrecher! Ugh. He's gone. The Black Knight does not seem to take much pride in Glory's past. Small one- Wait, where's Trilby? Why isn't he here talking right now? Considering the matter in which she was exiled from Kazimir's. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot you were still here. I didn't want to inadvertently offend the Black Knight. Glad to know you're self-aware. It was my mistake. I should have been more careful with my words. But do you really believe Madame Dagenbrecker's reasoning? Dot dot dot. The Black Knight has ever been Silver Ash's loyal lieutenant from the moment she left Casimir's and followed him to Cherry. She's been in the mountains lately, training a new, a new unit of troops for Carlin trade. We also have reports of unusual goods moving in and out of Cherig, involving materials of a sensitive nature. Your point? All conjecture at this time. But you have your suspicions too. <laughs> suspicions too, don't you? That's why you kept the young Rosalind's contact. Looks like you're... Your time in Victoria has instilled in you a pathological mistrust of others. What a shame. That is my profession, after all. I'll report today's events to the Duke. Exactly as they happened. Wait! <laughs> Allow me to remind you once more, my lord. You have a duty you are obligated to carry out. Do not fail her grace. This is not a sightseeing trip. Then what is it? Let me know! I need to know. Whoa, that was weird. I mean, Carlin trades proposal some thought, Mr. Taylor. I understand, Matterhorn. I was thinking to see you, to see our minds and factories. Are you satisfied? Okay, I accidentally skipped it. I have no complaints about your company, Mr. Silver Ash. But you're a businessman too. I'm sure you understand. I would have few reasons to harbor any doubts. If it was Carlin trade I was dealing with. But if I'm not to deal with the government of Cherig, well, if I am to deal with, okay. But if I'm to deal with the government of Cherig, which we know little about, I do feel that more due diligence is in order when it comes to the project of this size. <laughs> Sorry. Of course. I saw Victorian soldiers on the street a few days ago. There's no conflict brewing between Cherig and Victoria, is there? I assure you that no harm will come to you and Cherig. Why do I not why do I not trust them? Take your time, Mr. Taylor. Cherig won't disappoint you. Excellent. I look forward to a fruitful partnership, Mr. Silverash. You'll continue to serve as Mr. Taylor's guide tomorrow, Matterhorn. Attend to any need he has within reason. Yes, sir. But are we really going to work with him? You don't think he'd be a good partner? It's not my place to judge. However, he has found various excuses to put off signing the contract while here in Cherig, and went back on his ward more than once on profit sharing. I fear, indeed, he is a shrewd merchant. Cherig has no choice but to work with a shrewd merchants at present, while these same shrewd merchants have their pick of options. Why do they keep saying shrewd? It's a weird word. My job is to make Cherig their only choice. Sir. Go and check on Dejenbrecker's recruits. Have them escort Tent Mr. Taylor. Yes, sir. Who's calling me now? Oh, and Shields. Yes. Look at that. You're using a communicator. I thought you didn't like these long range methods. I just don't like to be contacted. <laughs> Relatable. <laughs> There's something you should know, NCOs. I ran into a girl from Rhodes Island on the train to Lake Silberna. Silberna. Did you enter into a new partnership with them? 
Weird. Cherix No Cheese, Burden Beast Accessories, Saintus Portraits. All Cherix specialties. Get them here. Burden Beast Blind Boxes. Limited edition. While supplies last. It's so lively here. What are they selling? Portraits of the Saintus? That's not what Pramonix would look looks like. Pramonix looks like. Now, now, girly. The Saintus personally approved this portrait. It's a real deal. Right. Whatever you say. I'll have some snow cheese, then. Is that the most popular treat? I might have had some while I was little. When I was little. You're a local? You could say that. Should have said so. Don't buy the snow cheese. Huh? That's for tourists. We don't buy that stuff. The shaved cheese is much cheaper and tastes pretty much the same. Wait. Are you just ripping off tourists, then? Hey, don't put it like that. Look at the packaging on the snow cheese. See how nice it is? That's what the tourists want. Something nice and classy looking. All I'm doing is making a few fr francs off the packaging. It's not like I'm selling inferior stuff. The cheese itself is first rate. Guess you have a point. I'll have some shaved cheese then. Can I ask you something else too? Is there a man in Cherry that everyone agrees is the, is the handsomest? The handsomest man, huh? Well, I'm a Palaroche, but I'm not going to lie. Sir Ancioz has got to be the handsomest fellow in Cherig. Ancioz, wait, Silver Ash? Yeah, the Patriarch of Clan Silver Ash. No, nah, no way. It can't be. How about another guy? Anybody else? Uh, well, uh, never mind. Just a random thought. Forgot I asked. Forget I asked. Forgot. How about something else? That mountain by the shore of Lake Chilbrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
the official. I, Sirius Browntail, formally invite Rosalind, I'm not even gonna try again, to attend the unveiling ceremony for Yuragander's statue that takes place in two days' time. Then you'll know that it's Cheragonder is that this Cheragonder is special. I don't know what's up with me today. There's no other like her. You sure are constant and well, I guess I'll look forward to it. Wait, I haven't given you the invitation letter yet. Why are you in such a hurry anyway? Oh. Man in the funny hat. Serious. Younger sister of the Brown Tail Matriarch frequently visits other countries on behalf of Cherik in recent years. Did she arrange for Rosalind to be here? I should find a way to eavesdrop. Sure, you've been standing in front of my stall holding that newspaper of yours for five minutes. I need you to buy something or move out of the way. Oh, pardon me. One burden beast milk tea. Aula, please. Hmm. Alright, I guess that takes care of that bitch Rotato's job. What the fuck? Makes no sense. Why do I have to keep an eye on some kid? Even talk to her, no less. Gotta say, though, the girl looks slightly familiar. Russ? Are you sure you don't need my help? Yucatan? Just leave it to me. I got this. Let's go. I want Rotatus to tell me what... Tell me what the deal is with that Rosalind girl. Why do they know who she is? Who is Rosalind? Price was to activate that one. Because that just goes in a square, so you'd have to reach it from there to there. So you need someone that can shoot three spaces. Can you do that? Oh, you can. Okay. Oh, wait. She's not going to be too helpful on this level where the, I can't place anyone here. Great. <laughs> Let's place... Okay. Let's sit for a second. I can see their souls. They're mine to reap. Let's just get a tank down first. I will protect us all. And let's get Flame Tail next. Flame Tail there. A new challenge. Up. Think you'll get away? Mm -hmm. Okay. Soul be cleansed. Tail like a shooting star. That's what they say. Your attacks have no effect. Okay, she's healed up now. Okay, so let's place the slow here. Because anyone that's move. coming through here will get slowed then. Um. Feels bad to lose your target, doesn't it? Okay, let's get Ansel out. Oh, I should have placed Ansel here actually. Very let's, well. Let's do that and see what happens. Ansel, there. Basically. Please hold on. to deal with. Oh wow, that thing doesn't even move now. Freeze! Target 
location reached. Fuck. Is it my turn? You no. feels bad to lose your target, no. doesn't it? You You can go do something else. Wait, what? Did she not reach it? Oh fuck, I placed her the wrong way. Uh. Oh, this this ready. Out. That's it. Haha, <laughs> losing sight. Still mulling things over, Dr. Perfectionist. Emotion is meaningless here. Dr. Perfectionist. Or perfectionist. That's funny. Charging. Not one step backward. There is no head. <laughs> Even the dead can't save you. So far, so good. Still talking yourself in the past. Tail like a shooting star. Out of my way. First aid box is ready. Clear. Wow, this one was a lot ah, easier. Why was this one so much easier? I replayed stage two and I still can't get an S on it. Or a three star. But I was able to beat stage three Let's pick up the pace. without evolving everyone. Still mulling things over, Dr. Perfectionist. <laughs> Feels bad to lose your target, doesn't it? <laughs> what? First try on the third level? I still can't get... I still can't auto-run the second level, but I can auto-run the third level. Whatever. Come, Rosalind. Let's learn how to pray and ch pray to Cheragonder. Close your eyes. Put your hands together. Or, what the fuck? Put your hands before your chest and call out Charagonder's name silently in your heart. Good, Rosalind. Your mama and papa's sweetheart, Rosalind. Mama could never regret giving birth to you, no matter what people might say. May Charagonder bless. Why? Who is Rosalind? Charagonder looks even bigger up close. So that's what she looks like. Hmm. Pray to Cherigonder. What did Momocha teach me again? No, I can't remember. I mean, it all happened before I was three. I should just start praying. Close my eyes. What do I do with my hands again? Stretch your right palm out flat and place it before your chest. In Cherigonder's presence, we close our eyes that we close our eyes that do not truly see and bow our overly proud heads. Drive stray thoughts from your mind and recite Cherigonder's name in our hearts. Come, child, after me. Okay. Leto closes her eyes again. Her vision goes dark, but her senses seem to vastly expand in an instant. Behind her, the old devotee, devotee begins to praise Cherigonder's name in his raspy voice. Cherigonder, grant us springs that quench our thirst and fruit that sates our hunger. Cherigonder, grant us ice and snow that freeze catastrophe. Kind and gentle Cherigonder, watch over us in Cherig. The sen sensation of wind brushing past her cheeks seems to grow with the chanting, the snowy wind roaring in her ear. A sense of familiarity, rising from a place that Leto doesn't know, takes her down memory lane. Cherigonder, I'm not your follower, and I don't need your blessing. But if you really do protect your believers, please protect Momochka. I wouldn't have come if she didn't ask me to. Hmm, no, that's not good enough. What? 
Sharagander! Sharagander, please protect my mother. She's a devout follower of yours. She told me how great Cherig was. I'll see how great it is for myself. <laughs> the old man's like, What's that about? Is that what Cherig prayers are like? <laughs> Whew. Oh, yeah, that's good. What are you doing, girl? Praying, of course. I mean, it's better to pray aloud, isn't it? Make sure Cherigander can hear it. Uh. Don't want to leave behind any regrets, you know. Oh, and thanks for teaching me. <laughs> well, I suppose Cherigander is hardly one to be picky about petty details. No need to thank me. Cherigander sounds like a pretty nice lady. Just like you, Batyushka. What the fuck? What does that mean? Letta removes her hands from her chest and takes one last look at the imposing Cherigander statue before turning around to descend the steps. The, devote, the old devotee sees her face clearly for the first time, the visage before her, his eyes. Under the sunlight, the curves of her cheeks and the height of her nose, the shape of her lips, a sense of familiarity washes over the old man. Oh, it's you. You're... What? No, it's nothing. I've seen plenty of tourists in my time, but no one who's done what you did. Really? Did I do something weird? What's your name? Rosalind. It's Rosalind. Rosalind. How old are you, Rosalind? Me? Almost 20. Are you Cherig? You can tell? You look like... Yes, you really do. Well, you called it. I was born here, but I spent my whole life in Ursus. This is the first time I'm back. I guess only half of me is Cherig. You grew up in Ursus? Ursus. Ursus. That's good, too. Yes. Why have you come to Cherig, then? All right, stick to what you're doing. No, actually, that's enough. Too much is suspicious. The girl? It's a long story. I'll tell you over dinner or something. Talk to you later. All right, satisfied? For now. Are you sure the Trilby Asher didn't find anything else? No need to be paranoid, Gnosis. The Duke would not stay put if things had gotten to the point that you fear they have. Don't forget the troops stationed in the foothills. Kragavon <clears throat> is no pushover. Trilby Asher showing up on the train indicates that they've sensed something. I have dealings with the Trilby Ashers. On the surface, they are all the groveling servants of the nobles, armed with nothing but silvery tongues. But we can't ignore the fact that they grew up in the embers of an empire at war. Karma catching up to the two of you? Maybe. To Karma catching up to the two of you, maybe? We're talking about karma, then you won't get far yourself. Of course I won't. Why wouldn't we suffer payback for delivering a young girl to a Victorian spy? What? She'll distract the Trilby Asher. That's why we need the Victorians to believe that she is important. Do not forget that there will be many eyes on this place, with Cherigander's statue complete and the ceremony about to begin. We must all be careful. I don't need you to remind me. Wait, they... So she's not actually important in any way, but they are... Like, making it seem that way so that the Trilby Asher will follow her? Weird. Okay. I wonder why. Now I'm super curious, and I hope that I can finish the event in time, because I want to know now. Relax, I'll be careful. It's not a game we're playing here, after all. The brown tails couldn't pull out if we wanted to. Or rather, if I showed even the slightest hint that I wanted to out I wanted out today, I'm pretty sure I would suffer an unfortunate accident tomorrow. There's no reason to engage in speculation about the impossible. This is for Jaren. We ugh, can only go forward, not back. But we can't hide this forever, Gnosis. It's too big with too many people involved. I need a... So I have a, a new...